ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय भगवत गीता एज इट इज चैप्टर सिक्स ध्यान योगा एंड वर्स नंबर थर्टी वन टेक्स्ट नंबर थर्टी वन सर्वभूत स्थित यो मर्वभूत स्थित यो मर्वभूत स्थित यो मर्वभूत स्थित यो मजती एक आस्थित भजती एक आस्थित सर्वथा वर वर्तमान अभी सर्वथा वर्तमान सहयोगी मयि वर्तते सहयोगी मयि वर्तते सर्वभूत स्थित यो मर्वभूत स्थित यो मजती एक आस्थित भजती एक आस्थित सर्वथा वर्तमान अभी सर्वथा वर्तमान अभी सहयोगी मयि वर्तते सहयोगी मयि वर्तते सर्वभूत स्थित यो मर्वभूत स्थित यो मजती एक आस्थित भजती एक आस्थित सर्वथा वर्तमान अभी सर्वथा वर्तमान अभी सहयोगी मयि वर्तते सहयोगी मयि वर्तते ओके प्रभु जी फ्रॉम प्रभु जी शाहबड़ी वन टू ट्राई सर्वभू मस्त सर्वभूत स्थित यो मर्वभूत स्थित यो मजती एक स्थित भजती एक सर्वथा वर्तमानो अभी सर्वथा वर्तमानो अभी सहयोगी मयि वर्तते सहयोगी मयि वर्तते सर्वभूता स्थित यो मर्वभूता स्थित यो म भजती एक अस्थित सर्वथा वर्तमानोपी सहयोगी मयि वर्तते सहयोगी मयि वर्तते सर्वभूता स्थित यो मर्वभूत यो म Now, word by word, 
सर्वभूतस्थितम सर्वभूतस्थितम सिचुएटेड इन एवरीवन्स हार्ट सिचुएटेड इन एवरीवन्स हार्ट या या ही हु ही हु मॉम मॉम मी मी भजति भजति सर्व्स इन डिवोशनल सर्विस सर्व्स इन डिवोशनल सर्विस एकत्वम एकत्वम इन वननेस आस्थिता आस्थिता सिचुएटेड सर्वथा सर्वथा इन ऑल रिस्पेक्ट्स इन ऑल रिस्पेक्ट्स वर्तमान वर्तमान बीइंग सिचुएटेड बीइंग सिचुएटेड अभी अभी इन स्पाइट ऑफ इन स्पाइट ऑफ सर सर ही ही योगी योगी द ट्रांसिडेंटलिस्ट ट्रांसिडेंटलिस्ट मई मई इन इन मी what the thing remains such a yogi who engages in the worshipful service of the super soul knowing that i and the super soul are one remains always in me in all circumstances such a yogi such a yogi who engages who engages in the worshipful in the worshipful service of the super soul service of the super soul knowing that knowing that i and the super soul i and the super soul are one are one remains remains always in me always in me in all circumstances in all circumstances spoken by sri prakriti vedant prabhupada ji a yogi who is practicing meditation on the super soul sees within himself the plenary portion of krishna as vishnu with four hands holding one sail wheel club and lotus flower the yogi should know that vishnu is not different from krishna krishna in this form of super soul is situated in everyone's heart furthermore there is no difference between the innumerable super souls present in the innumerable hearts of living entities nor is there a difference between a krishna consciousness person always engaged in the transcendental loving service of krishna and a perfect yogi engaged in meditation on the super soul the yogi in krishna consciousness even though he may be engaged in various activities while in material existence remains always situated in krishna this is confirmed in the bhakti rasamrit sindhu of sila rupa goswami nikhilasva api avastha avasthasu jivan mukta sa uchyate a devotee of the lord always acting in krishna consciousness is automatically liberated in the naraj mantra panjaratra this is confirmed in this way कृष्ण and then attain the happy states of transcendental association with him krishna consciousness is the highest stage of trance in yoga practice this very understanding that krishna is present as parmatma in everyone's heart makes the whole yogi faultless the vedas gopal kapni upanishad confirm this inconceivable potency of the lord as follows एक अपी स बहुधा यो अभवति ऑल दो द लॉर्ड इज लॉर्ड इज वन ही इज प्रेजेंट इन इन्यूमरेबल हार्ट्स एज मेनी सिमिलरली इन द स्मृति शास्त्र इट इज सेड एक अवो परो विष्णु सर्वव्यापी न संशय और ईश्वर याद रूपम एकम च सूर्यवत बहुधायते बहुधायते Vishnu is one, and yet he is certainly all pervading by his inconceivable potency, in spite of his one form. He is present everywhere, as the sun appears in many places at once. Om Jnana Jnana Dasya Jnana Jnana Salakya 
So no, we have at least we have to read. So we, we have a one day twenty four hours life. So at least for one verse we twenty we need only five minutes. You read the verse and transfer and that's it. You don't have to read like all purport and everything. So just read one verse. It's very beneficial for us. I also read, but sometimes I don't read. I feel inside. Oh, I did something. I miss something, something, right? So we have to read every day. And then, okay. And Balde Das Prabhu, in his lecture, last lecture, last month maybe, he said something about Bhagavad Gita. Anybody remember? No, you know. You <laughs> know one. Anybody remember what he said? He said, this Bhagavad Gita can change our life. Anybody remember? Guarantee. We have guarantee. And we have to, when you were, this class is there, we have to listen carefully. You know, he said, we, this Bhagavad Gita can change our life. So, definitely change. So, we have to pray every day. And in Bhagavad Gita, uh, total 18 chapters. First six chapter is Karma Yoga or Sankhya Yoga, Krishna explained. And middle six chapter is Bhakti Yoga. <coughs> And last six chapter is uh, Atma Samarpan or surrender to Lord Krishna. So Edmonton, you know, Edmonton president last month he was here, and he explained about all three parts, first three parts, and very briefly, and middle six part and last six parts. So that is also I am not going to say more. And in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explained up to Arjuna. One thing is Ishwara. Ishwara means the Supreme Personality Godhead. Second thing is Jiva, living entities. And third one is Prakruti, nature. Fourth one is um, Kal, and internal time. And fifth one is uh, Karm, Karm, activities. So these five things explain uh, Krishna to Arjuna. And Krishna explained many parts also in Bhagavad Gita, like uh, you know, like ladder. You know, just we, we climb the stairs. Uh, the lower one is uh, Karma Yoga, then Gyan Yoga, Dhyan Yoga, and upper topmost is the Bhakti Yoga. So these different different parts Krishna explained in Bhagavad Gita. So I don't have time. That's why I'm not telling about this Karma Yoga, Dhyan Yoga. And Dhyan Yoga, but I will tell you about I mean, Dhyan Yoga because last three four months we are discussing about Dhyan Yoga. So in Dhyan Yoga also I am going to tell you in in Dhyan Yoga Krishna described verse to verse different things to Arjuna. So verse number first to four Krishna explained Karma Yoga means describe mark of one who has attained Yoga. These four verses. Then fifth to ten verses. Urging one to uplift the self mark of the God realization soul. And verse number 11 to 32 to 22 verses. Krishna explained detailed description of Dhyan Yoga or Yoga of Meditation. And then verse number 32 to 36, four verses, question about control of restless mind. And last 37 to 47, 11 verses. This is one who falls from yoga. So now, first of all, I'm going to tell you dhyan. Anybody knows what? What is dhyan? Just you know, close the eyes and see what we are going to do and what we are going to wear. Just something like that. What is dhyana? Meditation. Meditation. So dhyana means to to withdraw all the senses and fix the mind in silent place and meditation on the Supreme Personality or God. This is according to Bhagavad Gita, this is Dhyan. See, to withdraw all, to withdraw all the senses and fix the mind in silent meditation on Supreme Personality of God. This is called Dhyan. And in, this is very difficult part, especially in Pan Yoga. Is it possible? No, no possible. But this is very difficult part, especially in Kali Yuga. And about Kali Yuga, 
अर्जुन से कृष्ण चंचल कृष्ण प्रमाति बल बदद्रम तस्य अहम न निद्रम बनी वायु उर्वश दुष्करम अर्जुन से कृष्ण माइंड इज रेस्लर्स अनस्टडी वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड पावरफुल ऑल्सो सो आई थिंक इज मोर डिफिकल्ट देन कंट्रोलिंग द विंड इट मीन्स वॉट अर्जुन से आई कैन कंट्रोल द विंड राइट इट मीन्स I can control the wind, but I can control under the mind. So mind is so strong, powerful, and uh, restless and unsteady. So Arjuna said, "No, I I can control the mind. I control the wind, but I can control the uh, mind." Now we first of uh, we I dis I explain dhyan, then mind. Now senses, senses also very strong and powerful. Huh? So in Bhagavad Gita chapter second. वर्ष नंबर सिक्सटीन कृष्ण से तो अर्जुन यतति अभी कौंडे पुरुष विपस्थित इंद्राणी प्रमाणी ने हरती प्रसंभ मन कृष्ण से तो अर्जुन की दिस एनसीस आर सो स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड पावरफुल ऑल्सो हो अर्जुन डेट दे फोर्स फोर्स बिली कैरी अवे द माइंड इवन ऑफ अ मैन ऑफ डिस्क्रिमिनेशन हु इज एफर्ट टू कंट्रोल देम so it is very difficult to control the mind senses everything you uh, and this is the one this related senses related one example one two examples are there one example is viswamudra muni anybody knows right viswam everybody knows viswamudra viswamudra muni was great sage and perfect yogi also but what happened one day simply he heard the sound of beautiful apsara mantras एंकल बैच यू नो एंकल बैच मीन लाइक यू वांट टू स्पेंड टाइम इन इंडिया में झांझर क्या फायर ही ही हर्ड दिस साउंड्स एंड ही ब्रोक हिज मेडिटेशन ही ब्रोक हिज मेडिटेशन एंड दिस वन स्पेशल वर्ड बट आई एम गोइंग नॉट गोइंग टू टेल यू सो आई जस्ट यू सी ही डिड समथिंग रॉन्ग विद मेंटा एंड ही एंड ही फेल्ट एंड ही ब्रोक हिज सॉरी ही फेल डाउन फ्रॉम हिज चूसन पार्ट मेडिटेशन और रिनिशिएशन सो दिस काइंड In our history, so many examples are there. And second example is Sobri Muni. Last time, one that uh, Amrut Hari Prabhu ji he explained about uh, this Sobri Muni. Sobri Muni ji also he explained everything, right, Prabhu ji? He married sixteen uh, man, man, daughter, daughter, and the other. So I am going to tell you the senses are so power, powerful and strong. So Sobri Muni was he was he was. Doing meditation in, in the water, 60 years, and he saw one day two pieces, you know, but uh, and he he also wanted to get married. He enjoyed his life, you know. He came out and he went to Mandanta, Kim Mandanta place, and asked him, "I want to marry your daughters." So, so I'm I'm good. I don't have time so much. He also fell down from his part, from of meditation, chosen part of meditation. So, I mean, so many examples are in our history. So, what to say about in Kaliyuga? Huh? What to say about in Kaliyuga? Every day we can, every day we can heard about this kind of cases, right? In newspaper and uh, news also, right? So, so many examples are there. Now, we are talking about yogi. So, who is yogi? Who is yogi? One who control his mind, senses, and desire. That is called yogi. And yogi sees everywhere, everything, and in every human being, the super personality of Godhead. This is yogi definition, right? What I am saying, everybody understood or not? Yes. So yogi is the definition. Yogi is one who control his mind, senses, and desire. This is called yogi, and he sees everywhere. And everything, and any will be in super, uh, super personality of God. So this related or last last verse was Yoma Pashyanti Sarvatra Sarvam Maija Pashyanti Tasya Ham Nigra Tasya Ham Na Prashami Satyamena Prashadi. So this verse also related to yogi. So I am going to one example. I told you that in Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam twelve eleven chapter two. Now we are in the uh, Raja Nimi. Meets to now Yogendra. Who was the now Yogendra? You have already known now Yogendra. Now Yogendra, the Rishabdev's sons. 
सो रसुदेव स्थान कवी कर भाजन की प्रयाण नाइन ओगी सर सो दवी सो हवी सेट टू राजा निमी देर आर ई सेट टू राजा निमी देर आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ थ्री टाइप्स थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ भगवान डिवोटीज वाई आई एम टेक गोइंग टू टेक यू बिकॉज द योगीज एंड उत्तम भक्त the most advanced book this is everything like everywhere god everywhere like you know everything everywhere so to sri hari says to raja nimi the most advanced devotee sees within everything the soul of all souls the supreme personality of god has sri krishna uh, he sees everything in relation to the supreme lord and understand that everything is exist is in, internally situated within the lord so yogi is also see everywhere everything in god and see uttam bhakta or uttam bhakta or most advanced bhakta also see same thing and there is an intermediate bhakta madhyam bhakta also there and um, kanish bhakta or prakta bhakta bhakta also there and one more similar uh, similar verse in bhagavad gita chapter 5 it was number 18 गीता so <clears throat> so krishna krishna said to arjuna be a yogi in all in all circumstances be a yogi so i am not going to read this was because this verse number is 46 in this chapter in dhanuga to somebody will read so he, uh, he, uh, so he said to arjuna be a yogi in all circumstances be a yogi why why he said to be yogi because he, the yogi is greater than tapasvi and greater than uh, experienced person and and greater than the fruity meat Parker, then O Arjuna, in all circumstances be a yogi. So at the end of the Gita, yogi says, "O yogi, now have we some samad, but then at that moment, at that moment, was the yoga, so we took the tamamata. Now I am, I am relating five minutes more in Kaliyuga. In Kaliyuga, some children have heard about this. This was a very simple part. What is that part? हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आई डोंट आई वी डोंट नो टू डू एनीथिंग जस्ट सिंपल चैंट एंड बी हैप्पी सो इन अगेन भागवतम पांडव ट्वेन चैप्टर 3 वर्स नंबर 51 52 सुदेव गोस्वामी से टू राजा परिचित कले दोष निजे राजन अस्ति ही एक महान गुण
and Saraswati Yuga be meditating on Vishnu in Treta Yuga by performing sacrifice and in Dwapar Yuga by serving the Lord's lotus feet can be obtained. In Kali Yuga simply by chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra and will get uh, liberated or moks whatever. So this time is over, I am not going, I have to say so many things, I have like written it down. But next time when I will get chance, so I will say more about Krishna. So thank you very much. I got this opportunity. So Atmaram Prabhu, I am going to say that. is not everybody Thank you Prabhuji. And thanks for Paldi Prabhuji. Because of Paldi Prabhuji, I'm get, I got ready to say here. Because he is our elderly person, you know. So he said, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. If I did something mistake or so means forgive me and give me blessing, then next time I can say more about Krishna. Thank you, sir.